you don't have to fail. In this video, I want to get your mind right. You have to understand that if you're going to be promoting on Instagram, you're going to be engaged in a big deal. It's going to take quite a bit of your time, focus, and energy. I don't want you to fail. Unfortunately, a lot of people go into this in a very casual way. They think that it's all about following some sort of recipe or checklist. They think that it's all about taking actions in a certain sequence and things will pretty much fall into place. Boy, are they in for a nasty surprise. Things don't work out that way. You have to approach this with the right mindset. Otherwise, your chances of failure are going to be quite high. Follow the tips below so you can properly prepare. Again, you do not have to fail. You don't have to follow the pattern most of your competitors go through. You can succeed, but you have to get your mind right. Have the right mindset. The first thing that you need to understand is that you have to believe that this is going to work. I can't even begin to tell you how many otherwise seasoned veteran entrepreneurs I coach who constantly sabotage themselves. They come across a hot new money-making idea on the internet, and they automatically tell themselves that this is a scam. This works for other people, but not me. This is too good to be true, and on and on it goes. They're excited about it. They read book after book about it, but they never ever give it their 100% because in the back of their minds, they think that it won't work. I'm telling you, you have to believe that whatever it is that you were doing will succeed or can succeed. If you doubt it in any way, then doubt will continue to grow and eat into your focus and resolve. Eventually, you find yourself unable to put in the amount of time and focus your project needs to succeed. You need to believe in three things. First, you need to believe that this business model will work. Second, you need to believe that you can make it work. I'm not talking about other people. I'm not talking about outsourcing the work. I'm talking about you, yourself, can make it work. And third, you have to believe that this is worth committing to. It's one thing to focus on a project on a one-shot, big-shot kind of basis. You basically throw a lot of energy to it on day one and hope that you put in so much work that that work will carry you through the rest of the journey. It doesn't work that way. Real businesses are like marriages. They require you to commit day after day, week after week, month after month. It's a long-term thing. It is a marathon. It is not a sprint. If you adopt these three mindsets, you increase your chances of success dramatically. Set aside the right amount of time. Logistically speaking, you have to schedule a fixed amount of time for your Instagram marketing efforts. The good news is that it doesn't have to eat up half your day. In fact, it doesn't even have to eat up a whole hour. As long as you stick to schedule, you will start to see results. How come? Well, you know that you only have, let's say, 15 minutes to focus on marketing. You keep trying it on a daily basis because you have chosen to be consistent. Eventually, things start to click and you are able to pack more activities within that 15-minute block. This leads to better results for you. Choose to be consistent. The bottom line is simple. You have to be consistent. Even if you can only afford to invest 15 minutes of your time every single day to your Instagram marketing efforts, that is plenty. The key here is the fact that you will always come back. The key here is that there is a sense of confidence in the fact that you will always step up to put in 15 minutes every single day. This can lead to amazing results because even though on the surface it doesn't seem like much time, the consistency makes you more disciplined. You're able to pack in a lot more focus and a lot more work within a fairly small time window. This leads to greater results. Also, your results tend to scale over time because you tend to do a better job you are able to make better decisions. Document your efforts. I can't even begin to tell you how many good ideas most entrepreneurs think of in the span of a day. But the problem is, if you do not write down these ideas as you work on your Instagram marketing campaigns, you will forget about them. You won't be able to test them. And one of the most annoying things that can happen to you is when the idea that you thought of before keeps coming back and then you forget it, and then when you're doing other stuff, it distracts you. You then focus your attention on it, then you forget it again, and on and on this ordeal goes. The end result is that you waste a tremendous amount of time, focus, and energy. Document your ideas. Pick out the best and try them out. If they don't work, that's fine. Move on. If they work, incorporate them in your daily activities. Measure success based on where you are in the development process. 
What if I told you that many people who fail in online marketing did not have to fail? Seriously, they gave up too quickly. You have to understand that quitting is the only way you can fail. The game is still not over if you're still in the game. If you're still throwing punches, you're still in the ring. But the moment you throw in the towel and you leave the ring, the game is over. You failed. The problem is when people work on a particularly big project, and believe me, online marketing is one of those projects, they measure themselves using the wrong standards. They just got started, and they start counting how much money they're making. Obviously, they're not making any money. So what happens when you do this? Well, you discourage yourself. You keep repeating to yourself, you're putting all this time, focus, and energy, and you have very little to show for it. You're not making any money. Eventually, your resolve gives way. You sabotage your passion when you do this. Instead of immediately thinking about how much money you have made when you just started your online business, focus instead on where you are. Measure your success based on the stage of development you're in. This way, if I just put up a website, my measure of success would be how many pieces of content do I have up? Are all the links working? Do I have a nice graphic? Is my website easy to find? Did I set up SEO correctly? Are all my products imported properly? And once I have successfully answered yes to all those questions, then I move on to the next stage of the development, which is promotions. Do you see how this works? If you start an online project and you just jump straight ahead to the part where you're collecting all the big money, you are going to depress yourself. That's really what you're going to be doing. You're going to discourage yourself because, obviously, the big money doesn't appear then. It appears at the end of the process when everything else has been built up. Resolve to fail quickly. I know this sounds like a crazy piece of advice, but it is actually one of the most powerful pieces of money-making advice anybody can give you. Seriously. Why? Like I said earlier, in the span of a day, entrepreneurs come up with all sorts of crazy ideas on how to make more money with their business. A lot of these ideas, sadly, are half-baked. A lot of them make all sorts of faulty assumptions and they really are failures from the beginning. Now, instead of allowing yourself to get sucked in by all these ideas to the point where your focus and mental and emotional resources are drained, choose to explore the most powerful of them. Maybe if you have like a hundred ideas in a week, pick three that you think have the highest chance of succeeding. Implement them in the next week. Put in all the right amount of time, focus, and energy. See if they actually work. If they don't, move on. Keep doing this until you find something that works and then scale it up. This is how you fail quickly. In this context, failure helps you because you keep throwing spaghetti at the wall. You keep experimenting until eventually you come up with something that works. When you find something that works, you scale it up, and this produces even more results. That's how you can turn quick failure into big-time success. Stay focused on conversions. It's easy to get hung up on success metrics that don't really matter. Seriously. The amount of traffic that you get ultimately doesn't matter. The amount of times people talk about your brand by itself ultimately doesn't matter. You know what matters? Money in your bank account. How do you get there? Sell more products. It doesn't get any simpler than that. That's the bottom line. This is why you have to focus on conversions. All your ad optimization, all your content marketing on Instagram, all your brand information, all of them must lead to conversions. Otherwise, you're doing something wrong. If you keep the ideas above in mind and you follow the tips that I've shared with you, you increase your likelihood of success. Again, you don't have to fail. You just have to have a game plan in front of you and you have to choose to be consistent. This is a commitment. This is not something that you choose to do because it feels good. Step aside from your feelings and focus instead on your ability to commit.